I'm in the superior mount position. Here are five of the many ways we have of finishing from the mount. One is simple ground and pound. Another is an Americana, also called paintbrush, where I'm going to slap my wrist onto his wrist, my elbow right by his left ear. I've created a little rectangular space. I'm going to weave my right hand under and over, creating what looks like a figure four. The back of his hand, or the dorsum of his wrist, will be the paintbrush with which I'm going to paint the canvas south towards his feet. His elbow slightly rises towards the ceiling as he taps out. Notice my elbow is right by his ear. I can also go around his head to prevent headbutts so long as our heads are in contact. My right hand will grab his wrist and feed it to my waiting left wrist. I've got the same try out rectangular space. Again, I'm going to weave and feed under, over. I've got the same figure four. Again, I'm going to paintbrush the back of his hand towards his feet. And as his elbow rises and the hand comes down south towards his feet, he'll tap out. One of the many chokes we could use is this. I'm going to open it up so I can feed my hand as far back as I can. And I'm going to rest my bone against his right trachea, his right carotid, and a little bit along the trachea as well. This hand is now fixed in space. The movable part is my left hand, which feeds under my right hand. Grab the gi. I'm going to go into a shumi position where I want my left hand to go to my left hip. Feeding under, grabbing his lapel, and bring my left hand backwards. My right hand stays in place, even if I give him a little bit of a Wally J uh, maneuver with my wrist bone into his karate. A favorite finishing move is always the arm bar. So as he tries to push me off, I'm going to say, thank you for the hand. Rest my hands on his chest as I preset my right foot. My left ankle will go right by his left ear in one smooth motion. I have his arm across my right pelvis. And as I keep his thumb towards the ceiling, I will either lower his arm and or raise my pelvis. And if I've got too much space, I'm going to scooch up such that my feet are flat on the ground as much as possible. And my, uh, my pelvis is touching his shoulder. I'm going to take away any space, lower his hand, and or raise my pelvis. That's the arm bar. Five finishing moves from the mount.